Hi Aquarius, welcome to your February monthly reading. I'll begin right away with a general tarot, then I'll clarify that reading with another deck, and I'll finish off the video for you with an oracle card or two. All right, let's see your current energy for February for my fellow Aquarius air signs. Oh, nice, the magician. Loving this reading. So you're manifesting in a more powerful way, in a more positive way, and you're starting to see the benefits of living intentionally. Okay, the two of pentacles. Now it's all about finding that balance between your work and your play life, your work and your romantic life, and also building on those coins, building on this earthly vision and deciding where to go next with this energy because twos are about deciding so i feel like you're in this manifestation process and deciding where to put most of your energy or more of your energy nice the empress so past your outside influences you're feeling that you are more connected you're more intuitive you're feeling very nurturing right now and fertile so you might be thinking about travel family community all of those things okay one more card to clarify the empress for aquarius for february all right this is in the past i'm feeling the nine of swords so you had some sleepless nights some depression some anxiety over something that happened but now i'm feeling this is clearing out and I'm saying that because the Empress and the Magician are there and those are major arcanas and they're super powerful side by side. So I feel like the Nine of Swords is now in the past. All right, let's see the blocks and lessons. Five of Swords. Yeah, I feel like the lesson for you has been to get out of your own way, to get out of your own head. Because you are an air sign, you can get sucked into the space of anxiety, of ruminating, of excessive thoughts. So it's all about coming back to this magician and empress mode where you are taking back your power and directing the energy. Yeah, the tower. So there was something, there was a breakdown, a breakthrough moment where you realized that this was something that you had to move away from because the Nine of Swords is over here in the past spot. Okay, let's see how your person or situation is feeling about you. This is a love reading. Just wanna get all the cards. And there we go, in the picture. Okay, so your person is seeing you as someone that they want to move towards because it's a knight. It's a card of movement and you can see he's bringing out all of the charm with the flowers and the white horse and the picnic and the letter it's like a lot going on <laughs> okay one more. let's clarify this knight of cups for aquarius okay in the world so they see you as being really abundant i'm feeling that they might want to move towards you if it's a long distance relationship with the world there. I'm saying that because it's above the Empress card, which is also also showing this earth here. I'm not really feeling the end of the cycle with the 21. It's more of this worldly vibe and that you're creating this energy around yourself because of the magician. You can see the magician is starting to work their magic and this is affecting so much of the world around you because it's so powerful now with the empress there as well okay let's see intentions for february for aquarius all right four of pentacles so starting to save some coins, starting starting to go within and focus on things to be grateful for. This is my card of gratitude practice. This is really going to help you manifest things. I'm feeling about the magician card. And let's clarify the intentions. 
Wow, Five of Pentacles. So for me, this is saying that you want to get out of this poverty mentality and focus on the abundance in your life with the gratitude and trusting that you don't have to hold onto the coins once you get them because that can be part of the shadow side of the Four of Pentacles. It's all about the circle of energy and I'm feeling that here especially with the world card. The more you give, the more you receive and that is definitely true in my life and the life of others. So give it a try if you haven't already and see how it works in your life because you don't really know until you experience it for yourself fully. Okay, Seven of Cups. Message from the universe. Deciding where to put that emotional water energy it is above the Five of Swords. So you could be stressing out a little bit about your next emotional connection. Or something you're thinking about for sure. And it could be because of what happened in the past with the Nine of Swords. That seems really hectic. I'm going to put something on there for you. I'm going to put this healing stone. I'm not sure what this is. If anybody knows. And, um, here I'll show it again. If anybody knows this stone, it'd be so awesome if you could leave it in the comments. I'm curious. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> got sucked into that crystal. All right. Oh, wow. I got two. King of Wands, Queen of Swords, and I only wanted one more. So I feel like this could be this new connection or a connection that will be arriving in your life once you are able to make a choice with the Seven of Cups. This is a really nice outcome with the Queen and King vibes together. So that is really cool. All right, let's clarify. A couple cards with the Sun and Moon, Tarot. Or three, Ten of Swords. I love this actually. It's really an intense card, but for me, it's saying that this cycle is over because it's finishing off the Nine of Swords here and it's right above it too, so that's perfect. Seven of Cups, Five of Wands. This for me is that there was some conflict in the past because with the Seven of Cups twice, that's that clarification that there was some strife, some rivalry and conflict within the choices of the past I'm feeling. So there is a clarification there for this Seven of Cups twice. So making, or not making, just taking that time to sit within your emotions, within your water element and I'm feeling like you will know where to put your energy with the magician here. Okay, oracle cards for Aquarius for February, birthday month. Oh, I love this. Wow, it just flew out. 13, precognition, psychic ability, future vision. I love this card. <laughs> I love this clarification for myself. <laughs> So trusting in your psychic abilities, focusing on the future vision. This is the number of the goddess, so I love that. Knowing that there is people and energy behind this. And you can trust in that. Okay. I got a new deck, a new oracle deck. I'm super stoked about this. It's called the Lantern Oracle. So exciting. <laughs> All right, Aquarius, final message. Oh wow, repair. Number 38, making amends rather than fun times reveals a relationship's true constitution. Wow. <laughs> 
check out this card. Just a couple on their chairs making a quilt together. That's what I'm feeling. And then the message, repair. So if that resonates with you, maybe there is a situation from the past with the Nine of Swords and the Five of Swords that you might have to repair. Wow, interesting. Okay, Aquarius, I hope you found some clarity from this reading. Enjoy the beginning of February. I'll see you for the mid-monthlies and into March. Bye for now.